Something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. My life gets complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Break me. My life gets complicated. How'd your kickboxing match go? Oh, not too shabby. You won first place? Congratulations. Thanks! I have to go tell Connor. You want to come? Oh, well, I would, but I really want to get home to the dogs. I've hardly seen Pigger and Samson for days. Oh, right! I forgot it was heartworm week at the vet clinic. Yeah, I put in a lot of extra hours. So Adam's been totally taking care of the guys for me. But now I can finally spend some time with them. Well, give them a hug for me. <laughs> I will. See you later. Okay, just one more piece. Adam? Aw, look what you made him do. Me? You are the one feeding him people food. And you know Mom doesn't want them on the couch. Come on, guys, off. You know better than that. <laughs> You can't let them be slobs, Adam. Bitsy Langford says that dogs need to have manners, just like any other family member. They're not doing anything I wouldn't do. Well, I want them to be better behaved than you. Ha ha, very funny. Oh, don't give me the droopy ear, Pigger. I didn't mean to scold you. I missed you guys, too. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately, but I promise to make it up to you. So? Who wants to go for a walk? <laughs> Woohoo! All right, good catch. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I didn't know fetch was a team sport. Did you teach them that? No, that's just how they play. Well, I gotta say, they're quite the characters. I know. That's Pigger, and this is Samson. I'm Sharon. Gary Gasiki. Nice to meet you. Listen, have you ever considered using these guys in commercials? No, they're just family dogs. Well, you should think about it. Especially Pigger. He has a great look. In fact... What? Well, I'm in marketing for Wolfco Pet Food, and we've got this all-natural organic dog food called Nature Nibbles. I've never heard of it. It's new. In fact, we're casting the first commercial, and Pigger's just the type we're looking for. Really? We're having open auditions this weekend. Why don't you bring him down? Thanks. I'll definitely think about it. I have a hard time imagining Pigger on TV. Why not? He's gorgeous. Yeah, he's a supermodel. This Gary guy thought he should audition, and I think Pigger would have fun. So can you take us, Mom? I wish I could, sweetie, but I'm running a support group on Saturday. Okay. Then Adam can drive us. Hey, I didn't volunteer. Please. No, I'm going to a movie with Tony. Mom, did you ever find out how that jelly stain got on the... You know, <laughs> on second thought, maybe I'll skip the movie. Thanks. I guess we have to fill this out. Name, Pigger Spitz. Sex, not anymore. He's fixed. <laughs> Imagine. I almost forgot to bring Alonzo's resume. <laughs> Did you hear that? Pigger doesn't have a resume. Oh, maybe this wasn't a good idea. We're here now. We might as well audition. 
But this seems so competitive. I don't want him to feel bad. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Fine. Now, what about the Spaniel? He was pretty good. We can do better than just pretty good. Remember the two Ps? Patience, Patience and, and persistence. persistence. <laughs> I know, I know. That's Bitsy Langford. Who? The dog lady. She wrote that book I showed you? We're ready for the next dog. Oh, hello again. Hi, we're next. Make up your mind. Sharon, this is Bitsy. She's helping us with the casting today. It's so nice to meet you. I read all of your books. Thank you. And the gentleman with you? This is Pigger. She meant me. I'm Sharon's brother, Adam. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Bitsy, this is the dog I was telling you about. Doesn't he have a great look? Hmm. He is interesting. Mostly bulldog. But his color says hound, and his ears say terrier. <laughs> but Pigger's not telling, are you? <laughs> he likes you. He's very sensible, and I can tell you take excellent care of him. He's so natural. He could be anybody's family dog. What do you think, Bits? Will he do? I can work with him. So Pigger's got the part? He sure does. Hear that, Pigger? You're gonna be on TV! I just hope he'll take direction. Will you need help on shoot day? No, I can handle him. Shouldn't I be handling Pigger? I mean, he's used to me. We just want to help him do his best, Sharon. Which is why we'd really appreciate your help on the set. We respect your relationship with Pigger, don't we? Of course. I'm looking forward to working with both of you. Great! Why do you guys start so early? We have a lot to shoot today. Did you have your breakfast? You had two huge bowls of cereal. Why don't you get a bite over at the catering truck? <laughs> wow, are those waffles? That woke him up. So, what does Pigger have to do exactly? The gist of our commercial is that Nibbler here likes to chew just about anything. But his favorite thing to nibble is nature nibbles. So, we need him to chew on some things. Won't that teach him bad habits? If I can teach him to chew, I can teach him not to chew. Well, okay, if you say so. All right, I think we're ready to go. Action! And cut. I know you're the expert, but I think this might help. <sighs> I suppose it couldn't hurt. Rolling! And action! Cut! I love it! That was perfect! Good boy! And action! <laughs> Chew it, Pigger! No, we're not playing fetch. Cut! I'm sorry. He, he doesn't understand. He doesn't have to. I'll just put some peanut butter on the doll. We can't use peanut butter. It upsets his stomach. Well, that would never do. Like this, Pigger. Mm, nom, nom, nom. <sighs> uh, bits. Sharon, I think that Pigger is picking up on your frustration. Why don't you step out of sight for a moment? It might help him focus. Oh, okay. We could try that. Go on. He can still see you. We'll be fine. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Energy and action. Sharon. The free grub is awesome. How come you're back here? Bitsy says I'm making Pigger frustrated, but I don't think that's the problem. Very nice. That's a joke. Oh, good dog. Good work, everyone. Or maybe it was. Wow, I guess that's what makes Bitsy an expert. Pigger, you did it! Yes, he's a bright one, all right. <laughs> Pigger did so well. He loved all the attention. And I learned a lot from Bitsy. She even said I could help her at her next seminar. That's great! I can't believe Pigger's gonna be famous.
this? Does Pigger need a bodyguard? I know someone who's pretty tough. <laughs> oh, hey, watch it! <laughs> Sorry, adrenaline rush. Nibbler likes to chew on just about everything. Nibbler. But his favorite thing to nibble is nature nibbles. He just loves that organic, all-natural flavor. Nature nibbles. It's extraordinary food for your ordinary dog. Go Pigger! Yeah. All right! Can I spot talent or what? Very impressive, Pigger. My boss was pretty impressed, too. In fact, she wants Pigger to do some personal appearances to help launch the brand. What would he have to do? Just a little meet and greet at a few pet food stores. Bitsy really wants to work with you again. She does? Mom, can we? I suppose, if it doesn't interfere with school. Can I drive them again? Of course you may. That's very helpful of you, Adam. Hey, I'm a helpful guy. So, uh, will you be using the same caterers? <laughs> Adam. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gently, please. It's okay, Pigger. I don't think he likes crowds. No, he's doing beautifully. Uh, maybe Pigger should take a break. His name's Nibbler, not Pigger. Don't you know anything? Yes, he's my dog. We have to call him Nibbler when he's working. Won't that confuse him? Sharon, uh, we're uh, really short-handed at the sample booth. Could you give us a hand? But I'm helping Pigger. No, that's okay. You go ahead. <laughs> we're having fun, aren't we, Nibbler? <laughs> Sharon? Hi. What are you guys doing here? We thought we'd come visit you and the Wonder Dog. Yeah, how come you're not with Pigger? Oh, they were short-handed. Gee, how do you ever keep up? I guess they'd rather have Bitsy up there. Well, you know, since she's kind of famous herself, and, and I think Pigger's fine with it. Well, she's the expert. Yep. Nobody knows more about dogs than Bitsy. Listen to him snore. He's pooped. So am I. I'm glad we have a whole week until Pigger's next appearance. Actually, Gary's going to book a couple of weeknights, too. I said it was okay. Adam, why didn't you ask me? You were busy, but it'll be fun. We're ordering Chinese food. Please be patient. We open in five minutes. I can't believe they're lining up on a Saturday morning just to meet Pigger. <laughs> you watch. He's going to be bigger than Mr. Clumps. Thanks for coming today, Helen. I wanted to talk to the whole family. Sharon, Adam, can we conference? Adam? More junk food? Uh-uh. Something low-fat. I found it in the sample booth. Slim nibbles for less active dogs. Okay, as you know, thanks to Pigger, Nature Nibbles are flying off the shelves. So we want to keep up the momentum with a cross-country promotional tour. Two months. Sixty cities. Two months? I'm sorry. The kids can't take time off school for that. They don't have to. Bitsy can take care of Pigger. It's an amazing opportunity. So, what do you say? No way are you taking Pigger on tour without me. He'd be lonely and scared. Not at all. No, he'll have one of the foremost dog experts in the country looking after him. And of course, we'll compensate you very well for letting us use him. It's not about money. Pigger is family. We're glad that Pigger has been such a success for your company. But Sharon is very close to him. So if she doesn't want him to go, I'm going to respect her wishes. I knew she wouldn't go for it. And Helen's backing her up. But Sharon really respects your opinion. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Sharon, you have a visitor. May I come in? <gasps> Hello there, bigger. <laughs> hmm. Betsy, sure. Uh, just um, let me make some room. I'm sorry to intrude. I just wanted to speak with you about Pigger. You understand why I said no to the tour, right? You know how much Pigger means to me. Of course. You only want the best for him. But is keeping him home what's best for Pigger 
Or is it what's best for Sharon? You know, I've worked with many dogs over the years, and I've never seen one enjoy the spotlight as much as Pigger. He was born for it. He just likes the extra attention. It doesn't mean he wants to go on tour. Oh, but he does. Pigger knows he's more than just a family pet. He feels a higher calling. I don't know. I think he likes being here with us. Absolutely. But you need to ask yourself whether it would be selfish not to let him do this. Sometimes love means letting go a little. I just think he'd miss me. Of course. But it would be a good experience for both of you. Well, I know. What about a little test? I'll take Pigger home with me for the weekend, and we'll see how he does, all right? I, I guess one weekend would be okay. Good girl. I know that took a lot of self-discipline. <gasps> Discipline? <coughs> That's what Coach says. <coughs> Two hours a day is a lot of practice, though. <coughs> <sighs> Thanks for helping. You're welcome. But I thought Brock was your workout partner. Let's just say he should have taken my advice about the helmet. They've been like that ever since Pigger went to Bitsy's. I'll bet he misses them, too. I'm surprised you agreed to this weekend thing in the first place. <coughs> it made sense when Bitsy suggested it. But now I feel awful. This can't be what Pigger wants. What if he thinks I abandoned him? <coughs> what was I thinking? Uh, you don't need to push back, you know. Huh. <sighs> Sorry. Guess I'm more upset than I thought. You know what? I don't care if Bitsy thinks I'm being selfish or undisciplined. I'm gonna go over there and bring Pigger home. You're wearing a hole in the rug, boy. You know, sit. Now, lie down. Good. <laughs> Maybe you need a touch of home. Let's see, what did the girl pack for you? Oh, a ball? A sandal? A photo of herself? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, you like that, do you? Well, all right then. <laughs> hey, wait up! Oh, my leg's stiff from all that kicking. Oh, oh. Sorry, I'm just thinking of Pigger. He's probably freaking out. He doesn't look unhappy. I don't believe it. He's wagging his tail. Huh. Bitsy was right. I'm the one with the problem. It feels awesome. so stupid. Cool. Let's get out of here. <gasps> Uh-oh. What on earth? There, hush, 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 Pigger. It's just some hooligans playing around. So, did Pigger have a good weekend? He was an angel. An angel who snores like a bear. That's Pigger, all right. I'm glad he was okay without me. And were you okay without Pigger? Yeah, eventually. I guess I need him more than he needs me. I think Pigger should go on the bus tour. <coughs> Sharon, are you sure that's what you want? It's not about me. It's about what Pigger wants. Bitsy will take good care of him. She's the best. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you for coming to say goodbye to Nibbler as he starts his cross-country quest, bringing extraordinary food to ordinary dogs. And now, an ordinary dog that needs no introduction, Nibbler! We better stay back here so Pigger doesn't see me. I guess he had a big breakfast. Yeah, but Pigger's like Adam. He never turns down food. Oh, he's probably too excited to eat. But then his tail would be wagging. <laughs> I, I, I guess uh, Nibbler's a little shy about his table manners. But now it's time to wish Nibbler a fond farewell. <laughs> Bye, Nibbler. Bye. Bye, Pigger. I'm proud of you. Sit, Nibbler. Oh, Pigger. Oh, oh, whatever you
your name is. What are you doing? Hager doesn't want to go. We've been through this already. He's not hungry, his tail wasn't wagging, and his ear was droopy. That's a definitely for sure sign that he isn't happy. I've spent a lifetime studying dogs, and you're telling me how they look when they're not happy? You may be a dog expert, but nobody knows Pager better than me. I know he doesn't want to go, and you won't change my mind this time. Come here, boy. Sharon, we have a contract. You made a promise. I know, and I'm sorry, but I also made a promise that I'd spend more time with Pigger, and I can't do that from a thousand miles away. How fast can you find a lookalike? Are you mad? It could take weeks. He's a genetic hodgepodge. Well, you're a dog handler. Handle it. I knew you wouldn't let him go. I didn't even know to the last minute. Oh, I think we all had a gut feeling. I guess I better go talk to Gary. I knew it was the right thing to do. This time, I was going to trust my instincts. <laughs>